Today, I'm building a team to beat the dream team. But my team starts as a 40 overall. For each time I fail to beat the dream team, I will spin from the upgrade wheel. The upgrade wheel has five tiers. And every three spins on the upgrade wheel will knock a new tier. As the tiers go up, the chances of getting a superstar increase while the chances of getting a bum decrease. The goal is to create the greatest team of all time to defeat the dream team with as little upgrades as possible. Subscribe to the channel if you do. Also, check out my Twitch. I stream every weekday at 11 a.m. And follow me on Twitter. I tweet a lot about basketball. Let's go. So, I've been looking to find the best deals on NBA, NFL, MLB, and concert tickets for a while. So, I'm glad to say that this video is sponsored by Seeky. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. Now, since the NBA is still far away and I'm looking to still go to a basketball game, let's try to get some tickets for a WNBA game coming up. So here I am at the front of the SeatGeek app, and if I just scroll right down here, we can go right to sport. And then all I gotta do is scroll to the side here, look for WNBA, and here it is. Let's take a look at this New York Liberty and Indiana Fever game. So here's all the tickets for the game. The tickets they show at the top are actually the best deals, meaning you're getting top value for where you're sitting. And as you scroll down the quality of the deal gets worse. So you want to stay at the top. I'm not trying to pay $1,300 for courtside. You can also zoom in on the stadium and click a certain spot. And when you click on one of the seats, it'll show you what it looks like to sit there. Every ticket is also backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only app to let you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. You guys can use code YNG for 20 bucks off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's 20 bucks off your first purchase with promo code YNG. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. And again, shout out SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get back into it. So here's arguably the greatest basketball team ever assembled, the Dream Team. And here's our team, which is a bunch of 40 overall bots. Let's see what happens with attempt number one. Well, game one, we lost by 130. It's going to be kind of tough to defend 10 Hall of Famers, but we'll give it our best shot. By the way, that's not the old Isaiah Thomas. MJ wouldn't let him on this team, so we put the newer age IT on this team. And as for the bots, I'm surprised one of them even scored over five points. And there's a sweep. Let's see if I can score on John Stockton. He's like six foot. Get down in the post there. Bang down low. Go up. Okay, maybe we got to do that every single time. I don't know. That might work. But obviously, I'm not playing, so we can't just post up John Stockton every single time. So we actually have to get some good players on this team to take down the greatest basketball team ever. I don't care if you think the redeemed team is better. Go have a debate with it in the comments. Now let's go ahead and spin for our first player on the tier one wheel. Got ourselves a role player. Again, these guys are going to suit much compared to the Hall of Famers on the Dream Team, but you know, we got to build a team. We're going to get ourselves a bona fide bucket getter to compete with the Dream Team. Let's bring in JR Smith. Let's see if JR can outscore 10 Hall of Famers. Still lost to the Dream Team game one, and we somehow only lost by 70. Only's kind of crazy, but we only have JR Smith at a bunch of bots. And we have another shocking sweep with our second attempt. Going back to the post up John Stockton strat, because I guess nobody's going to help. Spin off. Look at that beautiful move. Look at MJ and Barkley getting a ring together. I guess we'll keep trying to just build around J.R. Smith. I'm not too sure what the strategy is here to take down the Dream Team, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. J.R. had a pretty good game, too. 22-4, and four, not bad. And here's our second spin of the Tier 1 where we got ourselves another role player, which is way better than getting a bench form or anything like that, so we'll take role players all day. We're gonna pick up one of the greatest rebounders of all time. Let's bring in Andre Drummond. We got ourselves a very interesting dynamic duo here. Well, we lost game 1 by 100. Look at Drummond getting us 19-7 and seven, shooting 8 for 12. Not bad at all, man. We definitely Definitely needed a big man with them having Carl Malone, David Robinson, Pat Ewing, Barkley. They got too many good big men. And too many good forwards, guards, you get the point. But again, not much strategy here to building a team to defeat this team because I don't know what you do with two role players. There goes MJ getting himself another finals MVP. I mean, look at Drummond, man. 26 and 12. That's awesome. But here is our last spin of the two. Well, we got ourselves a starter. Okay, we got ourselves a big three here. I just got to pick the right player. I'm looking for an elite three and D player. Let's bring in Bruce Bowen. I was almost going to take Draymond, but he doesn't fit this team. I have kind of a plan in my head and Draymond just isn't involved in this team. So, you know, we'll see when we get there. Shocker, we lose in game one, but only by 60 points. And that's the JR Smith I've been looking for, man. 35 points. There we go. Just spam threes. I don't care. You're the only scoring option. You know, we're still getting cooked, but at least we're getting closer. And I think this is Barkley's second finals MVP. Keep shooting, JR. You got it, man. And here was our first spin of the tier two. We got ourselves. Okay, okay, okay. My plan is going to go perfectly. Just wait. I know he's only an 86 overall, but we're going to be getting our point guard Sixers, Ben Simmons. No better way to match up versus Magic Johnson than with the modern Magic Johnson. And look at that. Only lost by 40 this time. And Ben Simmons dropped 31, 8, and 13. Okay, I was not expecting that, but we'll take it. We are definitely on the right track. And Malone got himself an MVP. All right, dude. Look at Ben Simmons just dropping 30 pieces every game. We don't need him to do that, but I guess for this team, he can. And I got to say, the wheels have been pretty kind to us so far here. We got ourselves. Oh, I thought we got another star, but we haven't got any bench warmers or just like like bad players. In general, we've been doing pretty good. We need some scoring at the four spot. Let's bring in the Marcus Aldridge. We got a nice starting five, and I promise you, we're not building a team around Ben Simmons to take down the dream team. Game one lost by 50. LA giving us that scoring we need. Okay, good to see. And we lost game four by less than 40. Not bad. You know, they just have 10 players over 90 overall, and we don't have a single one. So we gotta get some 90 overall. It's gotta get lucky with the wheel. And there goes Barkley just stacking up more finals MVPs. This man Ben Simmons is going crazy. And here is our final spin of the tier two. 
we got ourselves. Okay, more realistic spin a bench warmer. Okay. We're gonna bring in another solid three and deep post. Bring in Josh Richardson. And I went ahead and put Jared to the bench so he could be our true six man. We lost game one by 18 points. MJ dropped 41, shooting 17 for 18. That's like impossible, but okay. And I accidentally sim, but the USA Dream Team obviously won the championship. Here we are now with the tier three wheel. Our first spin's gonna be a star. Okay, good addition. We need some strong paint defense and size. Let's bring in Yao Ming. Let's hope Yao can stop MJ from going 17 of 18. He only lost game one by 14 points. Ben's still going crazy. Yao Ming giving us 26 and four blocks doing exactly what I asked for. And we actually won game two. We're not gonna start sim casting every game until it's competitive. So we just got a lucky win, but we'll take it. And there goes the gentleman sweep. I feel like we're on the right track of stopping this dream team. We got a game, so obviously we're doing the right thing. Does anyone else win finals MVP on this team? You would think maybe Bird or Drexler, David Robinson, somebody else. And here goes our second spin of the two through. We got ourselves a role player, kind of a bad pull, but you know, it is what it is. We're just gonna keep bringing in elite three and D guys. Let's bring in Shane Battier. I gotta get somebody to run the show for the second unit, but for now, we're just building that foundation. Went ahead and lost game one by 20, where Yao Ming is giving us 32. Okay. And this was a pretty close game, but we're going down in a sweep. We still have yet to get a player that's better than anybody on this dream team. So that's definitely the missing formula piece right now. And MJ's back to winning finals MVPs. Ben Simmons was easily my best pick of this video so far. We gotta keep getting good picks. And here is the final spin of the tier three. We got ourselves a superstar. Okay, finally, we're gonna have a player that's at least better than some of these guys on this dream team. We're gonna move this guy to the two, but I'm gonna pick the guy who gave MJ the hardest time. Let's bring in Gary Payton. We got a very weird backcourt here, but if anyone's gonna guard MJ, I trust Gary Payton more than anybody. Well, we lose game one by 26, and MJ was very efficient, but he only took 12 shots, so that's good on our part. And I didn't ask Gary Payton to score 37, but uh, there you go. We went ahead and took game three randomly. Yao Ming dropping 30, Ben Simmons with a triple double, and MJ only scored eight points. Okay, Gary Payton might be my best pickup over Ben Simmons now. We played a pretty close game five, but not enough to actually make it a game. I thought maybe he wouldn't win this award, but okay, Gary Payton did your best, bro. I mean, look at that. He had 15 assists, but he only took eight shots. Gary Payton doing his job. And now we're on to our first spin of the tier four. We got ourselves a superstar. Okay, we gotta get ourselves a small forward or a power forward who can really score the ball. Well, when it comes to scoring, there's not too many guys better than this guy, so let's bring in Carmelo Anthony. Let's see if Melo brings that scoring punch we need. Well, they beat us in game one. Melo shot seven for 19. Great job, man. We stopped ourselves from getting swept. We'll take it. Much better game for Melo. 14 for 19. That's what we need on this team. We got a chance to stay alive. Just don't blow it. Malone gonna use the screen here. Malone driving. Diamond and Yao Ming picked it off. That should do it. We're gonna feed Melo in the post. Great decision. Melo go to work on Larry Bird. Shoot it, bro. You're Melo. Okay, or don't. Give it to Gary Payton. What? Throw it up, dude. There you go. That's fine. Whatever. Who the hell told Ben Simmons to shoot a three, bro? Never do that again. And we had a good run, but there's a blowout in game six. We got to find someone to stop Barkley. We got LA on him, man. We got to do better. So hopefully we can get that with this next spell. It's here for we got ourselves another superstar. It's a 20% chance. So there you go. This man can space the floor, has the defense, and the athleticism to keep up with Charles Barkley. Let's bring in Anthony Davis. I almost took Garnett, but AD weighs more and obviously can space the floor more for Ben Simmons to run the offense. So we're going AD. And they still take game win, but only win it by two points. And Ben Simmons almost drops a 40 point triple double. And we just went ahead and got swept. Ben Simmons is just a walking triple double, man. Like, I have to keep this guy around. And here is our final spin of the two four. We got ourselves a starter. Okay, we need someone to run the show, though, for the uh, for the bench. We're going to bring in another big guard to help run the show. Let's bring in Josh Giddy. Let's see if Josh Giddy moves the needle. Well, they still beat us game one by two points again, weirdly. And Giddy gave us 14 points and eight assists. Not bad at all. We went ahead and took game two. Mello was our leading scorer with 29. We also took game three. I think at this point, I'm going to simcast every single game because I think we actually have a chance to beat them. Well, they beat us in game four. MJ doing MJ things. We got to slow him down. We got a chance to go up 3-2. Gary Payne guard MJ. That's exactly what we want. Jordan. Oh. Okay. Now. Okay. We, uh, Gary Payne got cooked there, bro. Ben Simmons trying to drive on magic. That's a foul, but I. Oh, never mind. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> well, here we go, Ben. Okay. I assume this wasn't going to go well. Yep. He missed both. <laughs> just, just great. Well, we're not out of it yet. We still got to go to a game, what, game six? So we got a shot, but this would have been a great game to win. Well, we're definitely going to a game seven. And we held Michael Jordan to 15 points. That's the game plan. And with eight turnovers. So now it's time for game seven. And well, we got smoke, but at least we're on the right track. MJ scored 30 and shot 13 for 14. Literally nothing you can do about that. There was a chance we weren't going to have to use the tier five wheel for this whole video, but now we got ourselves a goat. Okay. We got to make the right choice here. It's about time we move off Ben Simmons. Bring me prime LeBron James. With LeBron running the show, I think we're good enough to beat him. Well, they beat us game one. So we move Ben Simmons to the bench and start LeBron and we get swept. So I guess we got to go back to the drawing board. Or we'll just keep spinning this tier five wheel until we beat this team finally. We got ourselves a star. Okay. We're going to grab an all-time great big man in his later years. Let's bring in Miami Heat Shaq. We got to be good enough now to beat the dream team. Come on, bro. And nope, we still suck. Maybe I got to move LeBron the small forward and Ben Simmons back at point guard. 
like our best chance was with Ben at point guard. So we'll see what game plan I come up with after obviously get our next tier five wheel spin. Well, here we go to the tier five wheels and we got ourselves a superstar. Okay, again, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna move off the Gary Payton experiment and bring in a knockdown shooter. Let's bring in Clay Thompson. I feel like I'm causing a lot of controversy in the locker room, but I'm doing what's best to try to win a championship here. Well, we're about to get swept again. And we got Ben Simmons at the line. First one up and he's off. Yeah, we're gonna blow this. Can we at least make it a two point game? And we can, okay. Oh, wide open David Robinson. Nice, guys. Seven seconds left here to go to... G Bro. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, you're, you're, you're... Okay, overtime, but that was ridiculous. And we won an overtime... Go oh! Okay. Jordan rips two free throws. Offensive foul. Jordan makes another shot. Timeout. Bird makes a shot with the free throw. Like, what the hell was this? I'm not going to lie to y'all. This dream team has me shook right now. We'll take a go, but I just, I, I don't know what the game pl plan is right now. Do I stick with Ben Simmons? Do I move off him? I don't know. I guess if anyone's going to take down this dream team, how about it be Steph and LeBron? So let's bring him in. Steph and Clay spam threes. LeBron runs the offense. Let's get it done. Please do not mess this up. Stockton trying to drive with Steph. Dives at Shaq with a great steal. That's some great defense, baby. Mello, trying to, okay, take your time. Take, you have an advantage. Okay, good shot. You had stacked it on. You just take your time, though. Uh, okay, this is a mismatch. Oh, Shaq with the great defense. Thank you for bailing Curry out. Curry going to use the screen from Shaq. Or Curry, pull up midi. How do you sell? Shaq is... Shaq! Shaq is carrying this team right now. I guess it only took LeBron, Steph, Shaq, Clay, AD... Ben Simmons, Prime Gary Payne. It took a lot of guys to make this happen to take down the Dream Team, but we finally got it done. Look at this phenomenal defense from the entire... Okay, Bird made that, but that was good defense. And it's official. The Charlotte Bobcats have taken down the Dream Team. And there goes LeBron James winning a Finals MVP. Congrats. Shout out Shaq there in that fourth quarter. Those block shots, big time rebounds and buckets. Man, he was great. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it. Hope you enjoyed watching Ben Simmons beat the Dream Team. Goodbye.